The mother of a terminally ill Perth boy has confronted the health minister at a function tonight in a desperate bid to stop court-ordered cancer treatment. Angela Kisco wants the minister to stop forced chemotherapy for her son Ocean. Renee Henry, Angela Kisco went face to face with the minister to tell him her son is too weak to undergo any more treatment. Angela Kisco felt like she'd run out of options. She was desperately hoping Health Minister John Day might be able to help her. Unable to book in to see him previously, she'd heard that he'd be at this arts exhibition opening in Midlands this evening and thought she'd come along to try to meet up with him. That meeting did take place just a short time ago after the event and she told uh, the, Mr Day that her six-year-old son Ocean has now undergone four court-ordered rounds of chemotherapy for aggressive terminal brain cancer designed to manage the disease but not cure it and under the court order he's supposed to undergo more rounds of chemotherapy but she says he's too weak and it's left him too traumatised. She's emerged from that meeting just a short time ago but sadly it did not have the outcome that she wanted. Unfortunately it seems that John Day will not be able to help her. Just because they're doctors doesn't mean they're God or they don't make mistakes. So has he offered to do anything at all? No, he's under the presumption that PMH um, oncologists are doing the right thing and have Ocean's best interest at heart. This is very disappointing. Whatever's meant to be will be. I just hope that he doesn't have to go through high-dose chemo. So where to from now? Angela says she'll continue to work with Ocean's oncologist to try and reach the best outcome for him. She simply says she wants her son to be in peace. She says he only has a few months to live. Emmy. OK, Renee, thank you.